I'd like your attention. May I have your attention, please? Not you, Joe. I'm rehearsing my wedding toast. Quiet! Quiet, please. I need quiet in here. That's all I've got. Sounds great, Lloyd. Why don't you throw in a shut up just to show that you care? Who's the uh, happy couple? Ah, uh, just another pair of lucky love birds that I've brought together. It's a gift, Joe. Whenever I walk into a room, it just brings people closer together. So I've noticed. You know, this is so funny you're bringing this up because I was just talking to somebody who I think would be perfect for Lou. Oh, really? Well, I've been trying to set Lou up for over a year now. <laughs> She's a pretty tough customer. Yeah, especially since all three stooges are dead. <laughs> who is it? Fred from the bookstore. Fred from the bookstore. Interesting, amusing. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> nice try, though. Excuse me. Lou, you know your theory that all the men in Philly have at least one fatal flaw? Unavailable, undesirable, or Joe? <laughs> well, what would you do if I was to tell you that I just met the perfect guy for you? I would say it's been very nice working with you, Claire. <laughs> See? Fred is gonna love this quirky sense of humor. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I've never set anybody up before, but Lou, I have a feeling. I have a feeling, too. It's, uh, it's more of a pain, really. Oh, it's getting better. Oh, getting better? Getting better? Ooh, all gone. What the heck was that all about? Clara's some guy she wants to set me up with. So standing outside the men's room with a butterfly net ain't working for you, huh? <laughs> easy, pal. Hey, man. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, my life's over. And uh, coming in at number one, an old favorite, it's My Life is Over by Mad Roman. What happened? They showed a movie at school today. It was all about the life cycle of the Indian elephant. It ended with the young elephants looking on helplessly as their mother goes off to the graveyard to lay down and die. Oh, that sounds so sad. Don't remind me. It all happened so fast. The lights came up and... Don't tell me you cried in school. One single tear will down my cheek. Matt, that is so sweet. A little too sweet. <laughs> Betsy Spencer was sitting on my left. She's cute, sensitive. If it had been my left cheek, this could have led to her phone number. Or who was on the right? Bill Fody and his twin brother, Buck. <laughs> the meanest pair of kids ever to walk the halls of Independence High. How bad was it, Matt? Bill turned to me and said, You want to cry? I'll give you something to cry about. Meet me after school tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Oh, Matt, why'd you have to cry, huh? Couldn't you just pretend like there was something in your eye? Wait a second, can't a guy have an honest display of emotion here? No, not in the 10th grade. <laughs> I didn't make the rules. I need you to teach me, Joe. I need to learn how to fight. Finally. All right, Matt. <laughs> You've come to the right guy. Now, I don't like to brag, but uh, I had a perfect fighting record when I was in high school. You never lost? No, I lost, but I never cried. <laughs> This is great, Joe. Why don't we just drain all the emotion out of Matt's system? Let's take a very sensitive kid and see if we can turn him into a mindless zombie. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's turn Matt into Joe. You can't expect miracles. <laughs> all right, buddy, I'm going to give you a crash course in fighting. You will not find any of this stuff in any textbook. I'm an empty cup, Joe. Fill me. <laughs> now, look, can you look this guy straight in the eye and stand your ground without crying? I don't know. I've never been in a fight before. <laughs> in a fight? How do you get to be 16 and never be in a fight? Look, I'm just one of those people who's not afraid to stand up and say, I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Even when a guy goes like this? Youthful horseplay. Oh, it brings back memories. Makes me want to get a hold of my brother again, sit on him and scream, Who's your daddy? Who's your boss? Who 
who's your best friend in the whole world, you yellow-bellied little runt. <laughs> Funny how the two of us lost touch. You are fast, Brian, faster. Hiya! Hi, sweetie. Who's your new imaginary friend? No, Mom. He's my imaginary enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I talked to Master Kim, and he said you fulfilled all the requirements to be a yellow belt. And all you have to do is break a board. Oh. You know, you don't have to do this. I love you the same whether you're a yellow belt, a brown belt, or a purple and pink polka dotted belt. Yeah, okay, Mom. Let's just keep our little secret. <laughs> Can I get you anything? The strike the 10,000 warriors? I was thinking more like a bologna sandwich. Here's the keys to the truck. Oh, thanks. By the way, I was talking to Fred, and he doesn't want to meet you just as much as you don't want to meet him. Oh, wait, he's rejecting me before he's even met me? All right, you got my interest. Good, because I talked him into meeting you for coffee at four. Just coffee. Come on, it'll be like one of those young adult sitcoms. You're absolutely sure he does not want to meet me? Positive. All right, I'll go. But remember, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for a bloody sandwich. I asked for the strength of 10,000 warriors. But well, you know what? It's terrific. All right, buddy, Plan A. He falls for your bluff, and you win the fight without having to throw a single punch. I'm in love with Plan A. I'm sure you are. All right, Plan B. He wants the fight. Now, in this case, you're just going to have to dance around until a teacher comes in and breaks you two guys up. What if I get hit before a teacher comes? And you stand there and take it like a man. How is your pain threshold? Owie. Owie? I want you to eliminate that word from your vocabulary, all right? Lose, uh, mommy while you're at it. <coughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Better, all right. Now, there's also nothing wrong with the classic sucker punch. What's a sucker punch? Hey, Claire. Hey, Mom. Oh, yep. <laughs> Wasn't ready. That would make you the sucker. <clears throat> okay, now, I'm gonna teach you how to slip a punch, all right? I'm gonna come at you with a big, dumb roundhouse left. I want you to duck and hit me with a good straight right. Got it? Got it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And... Oh! What, what? <laughs> How come you didn't duck? I thought it was a trick! I thought you were gonna leave with the left and smack me with the right. Why would I do that? Because secretly you want to hurt me. You know what? I give up. I can't believe this. First you hit me, then you make me say thank you. Then you sucker punch me. And then, just when I think you're lying, you tell the truth and smack me in the face? We're in that gray area again, Joe. Is this for you or for me? It's for both of us. Oh, Joe. I'm gonna get killed, man. What time is that fight? Four o'clock sharp. Hey, Andy, do you have any plans after school tomorrow? I will run before I will fight. I will fight before I will maim. I will maim before I will kill. Relax, all right? We're just gonna use you as a decoy. Plan C, the old bait and switch, the oldest trick in the book. What is it? You tell this guy it's you and your brother versus him and his brother. He agrees, Andy steps back, and I step in. You do that? You fight for me? There's not gonna be any fight, okay? These guys are gonna be out of there so quick, you won't even see their skid marks. Master Kim says a true warrior fights alone. Master Kim works nights at 7 Eleven. So who should know better than him? Wedding toast done yet? The rehearsal dinner's tonight. I'm completely blocked. If I could just find a thread, some tidbit to latch on to. You mean a cute little story about how they fell in love? It wasn't love at first sight. In fact, they despised each other. If it wasn't for that killer hurricane and that power line that came crashing down, they would never have been trapped in an elevator for three and a half hours. That fateful incubator, all their hate turned to passion. Too bad you don't have a cute story, Lloyd. All I need is a thread, some little tidbit. Hey, Lloyd. Stop hounding me, Lou. I'll find you a husband. I'm a matchmaker, not a short order cook. That's right, today's the big date, huh? It's just coffee, Joe. Just a simple courtesy cup of coffee. Ooh, coffee? Oh, I know the type. He'll probably sprinkle some cinnamon on his phone while he talks about his feelings. <laughs> Well, you know, not all men are slaves to testosterone, Roman. No, you're right. Just the ones between 13 and 65. <laughs> Joe, can I borrow your leather jacket, man? Uh... Come on, it's my first flight. I want to make a good impression. 
You're not a bleeder, are you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's not going to be any fight. Look, just pick Andy up and meet me at the gym at 4 o'clock. Don't be late. I won't. <laughs> his first fight, you know, it seems like just yesterday, Matt was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh, God, that was yesterday. You know, this is how people get hurt, Joe. No, Lou, this is how people stay in one piece with quick, decisive action. No, you are such a bonehead. You don't even realize you're taking him down a road. To, to what? Survival? What do you want him to do? Invite the bullies over to share his feelings over a hot cup of coffee? <laughs> Look at them go. There's no accounting for chemistry. They're always fighting if they seem to like it. It's as if opposites... Attract? Yes! <laughs> Mark my words, little one. Those two are meant for each other. Well, you know, if men were willing to talk over coffee, there would be no war. No, there would still be wars. We'd just be fighting twice as long because we'd be up all night. <laughs> Miss Bond. James Bond. Hi, James. Oh, uh, hi, Joe. It's okay. Everybody does that. So how's the toast coming, pal? Oh, I'm completely blocked. I mean, what can you say about two people whose love will blossom and create their own paradise on Earth? Lloyd, that is beautiful. Sure, but it doesn't help me with the damn toast. It's quarter to four, Joe. You better get a move on. Wouldn't want you to miss the big showdown. Hey, I'm not going to hit the kids, all right? I'm just going to scare them off. Just like you're going to scare off that guy as soon as he meets you. <laughs> hey, guys, um, I need a hand with some stuff in the storeroom in the back. Could you give me a hand with it? I mean, I'm all dressed up. But it'll only take a minute. Okay, quick. Hurry up. Uh, they should be in the far corner. It's right over there, just a little further. What do you want, Lloyd? Right there, right over there. <laughs> hey! Lloyd, the door's closed. Lloyd, the door's locked. <laughs> Lloyd! Lloyd! Ting! Ting! Come on, Lloyd, open the door. It was very funny, but guess what? The joke's over. You know what? He is like a great big old dog that has outlived its usefulness, and I tell you what, I'm gonna take him out back and I'm gonna shoot him. You're not advocating violence. It was a metaphor, Joe. Lloyd is not a dog, and I don't own a gun. Trapped in a closet with a man who worships at the altar of the literal. It's not really an altar, right? Right. How could he do this to me? He knows I have a date. Maybe the guy got one look at you and paid Lloyd off. Shut up. The final touch. Why would he do this? There's got to be a rational explanation. Lou, it's Lloyd. Gosh. Listen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The enclosed space, the elevator music. <laughs> he thinks his sparks are going to fly. Oh, what, you and me? Oh, no offense, Roman, but pigs are going to fly before sparks do. Hey, don't flatter yourself, all right? Am I sparking? Do you see any sparks? Well, how would I know what you look like when you spark? Believe me, I light up like a Christmas tree. You can read by my sparks, all right? When I'm sparking, you don't have to ask if I'm sparking because the sparks speak for themselves. Okay, shut up, Sparky. I gotta get out of here. My date is starting without me. Yeah, well, Matt's fight is starting without me. Oh, my God, that's right. Oh, Joe, you really gotta get out of here. I know. He'll be okay, though, because I gave him a few pointers. All he has to do is just stand his ground. <laughs> I never seen you run so fast. <laughs> I can't believe Joe never showed. The bait and switch. Who knew I was the bait? It was like you were the Flash. You would tell me if you were the Flash, right? <laughs> You know why Joe's doing this, don't you? To toughen me up. Sure, throw him out in the pool, see if he swims. Look at me, Joe. Club, club, club. Master Kim says the man who faces combat has already won. Yeah, well, the last thing Master Kim said to me was, shut freezer door, you melt popsicle. <laughs> hey, how about this window? You know what, let's see if we can get this window open. Here, I'll give you a boost. See, now, this is exactly what you pull in the garage. You're the guy and I'm the girl, so you get to be in control. Well, you know what? I am fully capable of giving you a boost. Fine, Lou. Boost away. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Uh-huh. All right, go. Oh, what? You've been eating Italian? Hey, this is a great boost. Thank you. Fabulous. Now, uh, just for fun, can we try it like this, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. okay, here we go. Okay. One, ready? two, three. Oh, here we go. Oh. oh, please. You two with the ripped jeans. Why, did you take them to a pro or did you tear them yourself? Well, at least I can slip mine on. I don't have to apply them with a staple gun. 
So you've noticed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the thing is stuck, Roman. Can you push me up higher? Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. These jeans cost me 75 bucks. Yeah, well, now they're worth 100. <sighs> Would you turn around, please? Again, don't flatter yourself, all right? Just wrap something around your waist. Why don't you use your shirt? Okay, fine. <clears throat> Thanks, Sarah. They're coming after, Sandy. Lock the doors, close the windows. If the doorbell rings, hit the floor. If you're so afraid of death, you will build yourself a tomb. Matt. Mom, how did you get in here? I hid in the ladies' room during closing. Have you seen Lou? Have you seen Joe? No, no one's downstairs. Lou's date just called. She must be running late. Look, I'm going to pop over there and tell him that she's on her way. Okay, Mom, we'll hold down the fort. She could have saved us. Andy, I'd rather have the Fody brothers beat me up than have Mom break up the fight. <laughs> you are very brave. Can I have your room? Hey, it says here that all cars are going to be electric by 1987. What did Lloyd expect? I know, right? Just because we're locked in a closet, we're going to rip each other's clothes off. <laughs> it was an accident. This whole day has been an accident. Hey, this hasn't exactly been an international coffee moment for me either, all right? Because you're not quite my type. Oh, yeah, well, it just so happens that the last thing I need is another selfish, good-looking, cocky jerk in my life. You think I'm good-looking? Oh, your ego, it's sucking up all the air and it's suffocating me. Hey, calm down, all right? If your hair can fit in here, there's plenty of room for my little old ego. What is that supposed to mean? What's that supposed... Okay. <laughs> Hi, Claire. Hi, Lloyd. Oh, I got that little move from you, Joe. What? Okay. Huh. okay. <laughs> all right, that's it. Give me back my shirt. In your dreams. Come on, I'm getting chilly. Give me back my shirt. Chilly? It's like 95 degrees in here. If it's so damn hot, then give me my shirt back. Oh, God, you really are a jerk. Duh. I'm a good-looking jerk. Oh, I never said you were good-looking. Yes, you did. You just said I was a cocky, self-centered, good-looking jerk. Yeah, well, I take it back. You can't take it back. You can't take your shirt back. Oh. 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 Really? Okay. okay, I definitely want to try. Okay. Ready? Okay. okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Screwdriver. What is that, some sort of slang? No. Joe, there's a screwdriver in the hinge pin. Oh. Guess we got a way out. It's great. Now I can uh, save my skin. Yeah, now I can uh, make my date. Great. Uh. 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 Ah. Um, how do I look? Great. Wait. Go get him. All right, wait here, buddy. I'm gonna go lock up. Hey, Maddie boy. We've been looking all over for you. Was that today? <laughs> Did you bring your handkerchief? Cry, baby. Where's your brother? Look, guys, he's not. I am here! <laughs> Andy, no. Is this a joke? <clears throat> oh, is he gonna cry too? It must run in the family. Come on, baby, cry. All right, all right, that's it. I'm gonna pound you. Yeah. Maybe gonna take me down, but I'm gonna take you down with me. Hey, that's my jacket. <laughs> You're a dead man, Roman. That's right. I've got a death wish. I'm a crier. I like to cry. You know I like to cry. You're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Real crazy. I'm a crazy crying son of a gun. Go ahead, Bill. Make me cry. Let's have a cry. You and me, Bill. Get away from me. How's your pain threshold, huh? Mine's off the charts. What a psycho. Who's your daddy? Who's your boss? Who's the best friend in the world, you yelly bug little runt? What? Oh! Let's get out of here. Yeah, we, we made a point. I don't think I made mine. Come back here, Fodies. Just getting warmed up. Did you see that? How did I do that? Did you see that? How did I do that? Hey, Matt, what's up, pal? Joe, where were you? What, did I miss something? How did I do that? Did you see what I just did? I know, buddy. You broke the board. Excellent job. <laughs> Thanks for throwing me in the deep end, Joe. Hey, you swam, didn't you? Yeah. I would have appreciated a paddle. <laughs> Got a little adrenaline rush, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I could have been killed. <laughs> Are you kidding? I would never let anything happen to this jacket. <laughs> it looks real good on you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hey! 
Listen, Joe, about last night. Yeah. How did Matt make out? Oh, great, great. Just like I drew it up on the chalkboard. Hey, how did that date go? Well, first I was yelled at for being late, and then I was told that I looked like a mess, and then I got stuck with the check. What kind of guy would do that? Oh, he was long gone. I'm talking about Claire. <laughs> Hardly worth getting out of a locked storeroom for, huh? Here's your shirt. Oh, gee, thanks. You know what? I'll never wash it again. You never washed it before. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> Just love. <laughs> How did you know the two crazy kids could be locked in a closet for an hour and a half? Go on an elevator ride. And get out at the penthouse alone. <laughs> the cardinal rule of matchmaking, location, location, location. Yeah, you know, speaking of locations... Uh, we would like to take a picture. Yes, a picture. Of you. Uh, in our little love nest. Oh, look at us. We're finishing each other's sentences. Uh, well, come, my little lovebirds, I'll lead the way. All right. <laughs> the spot where I spun my enchanted web. <laughs> Where's the camera? Oh, I have to go get it. I'll go with you. Okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, they want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess now we're all to even the score, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. Oh, yeah, me too. So, as the baby elephants look on, with a mournful wave of her majestic trunk, a proud grey shadow shuffles off to oblivion. We now return to the WJDP pledge drive. What'd I tell you, man? I think I got something in my eye or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did the hyenas eat the carcass? <laughs>